With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, I hope you all are doing good. So today our question is like this. In a reaction A plus 2B which is at equilibrium gives 2C. 2 moles of A, 3 moles of B and 2 moles of C are placed in a 2 litre flask and the equilibrium concentration of C is 0.5 mole per litre. Okay, so we have the initial concentration of A, B and C in the flask and we have the equilibrium concentration of C. Then the equilibrium constant K for the reaction is our options are 0 0.21, 0 0.5, 0 0.75 and 0 0.05. Okay, so this is a very basic question from the equilibrium constant expression. Okay, so first of all what is our reaction? We have reaction like this A plus 2B a plus 2B, the reaction is at equilibrium gives 2C. Okay, this is the reaction we have. We have initially 2 moles of A, 3 moles of B and 2 moles of C. So at T equals to 0, at T equals to 0, we have 2 moles of A, we have 2 moles of A. Okay, so wait a second guys. We have 2 moles of A, we have 3 moles of B and we have 2 moles of C. These are the initial concentration we have. Okay, so when the equilibrium has reached, so or we can say at the time of equilibrium, that is when T equals to T equilibrium, after achieving the equilibrium, let's say X moles of A is dissociates. Okay, or we can say let's say X mole of A is consumed during the reaction. So remaining moles of A will be 2 minus X. Remaining mole of B will be 3 minus 2X. Because stoichiometric coefficient of B is 2, so it will be these diso uh, Dissociated mole per B will be 2x because stoichiometric coefficient of B is 2. So dissociated moles of B will be 2x and we have initially B moles as 3. So it net moles or we can say moles at equilibrium for B will be 3 minus 2x. And moles formed for B will, uh, form, uh, moles formed for C will be 2x. Okay. So when x moles of A dissociates then there will be 2x moles of A, uh, C will form. Okay. At the time of equilibrium. So moles of C will be 2 plus 2x because initially we have 2 moles and we have extra 2x moles okay formed during the equilibrium so moles of c at equilibrium will be 2 plus 2x okay guys this is how we write the moles at the equilibrium okay so these are the moles so concentration at equilibrium will be concentration these are the moles okay these are the moles at equilibrium these are the moles at equilibrium so concentration at equilibrium will be moles divided by the volume we have a volume of 2 litre. We have a 2 litre flask so we have a volume of 2 litre. So concentration of A, B and C at equilibrium will be 2 minus X divided by 2. That is number of moles divided by the volume. Okay, this is the concentration. Concentration of B at equilibrium will be 3 minus 2X divided by 2 and concentration of C at equilibrium will be 2 plus 2X divided by 2. This is the concentration of C at equilibrium. Okay guys, now we need to find the equilibrium constant K for the reaction. Okay. And we have given that the concentration of C at equilibrium is 0 0.5 mole per liter. So, we have equilibrium concentration of C is given in the question that is 0 0.5 mole per liter. So, 2 plus 2x divided by 2, it is equals to 0 0.5. It is equals to 0 0.5. Okay, guys. Okay. So, x will be, so x will be 2 plus 2x is equals to 1 because 0 0.5 into 2 will be equals to 1. So x will be x will be 1 minus 2 that is minus 1 divided by 2. So these are the x. These are the x we have. x will be minus 1 by 2. Okay. Now let us find the moles of A, B and C at equilibrium. So moles of A is moles of A. Moles of A at equilibrium will be 2 minus x. 2 minus x. So it will be 2 minus minus 1 by 2. So moles of A at equilibrium will be 2 plus 1 by 2. Okay, that is 1 by 2 can be written as 0 0.5. So it will be 2.5 moles. 2.5 moles. These are the moles of A at equilibrium. Okay, so moles of B at equilibrium will be 3 minus 2x. 3 minus 2x. That is 3 minus 2 into minus 1 by 2. Okay, so 2 to 2 will be cancelled. 2 to 2 will be cancelled. So, moles of B will be, number of moles of B will be 3 plus 1 that is 4. 
So these are the moles of B at equilibrium because minus minus will get plus, so three plus one will uh, will be four. Okay, and moles of C at equilibrium will be moles of C at equilibrium will be two plus two x. Moles of C at equilibrium will be two plus two x. So these are the moles of C. These are the moles of C. That is one. So we have moles of A, B, and C at equilibrium. Okay, I hope you guys are understanding it. Now, what is the value of K C? Or we can say what is the value of equilibrium constant? Okay, guys. So value of K C will be we have a reaction A plus two B gives two uh, C. So value of K C will be value of K C will be concentration of C to the power two divided by concentration of A to the power one into concentration of B to the power two. Okay, because stoichiometric coefficient of C is two, so we have to take the power of C as two. Okay, that is concentration to the power stoichiometric coefficient. So this is the expression of K C. Okay. A to the power one because stoichiometric coefficient of A is one, and we know Kc is equal to concentration of product to the power stoichiometric coefficient divided by the concentration of reactants to the power stoichiometric coefficient. Okay, so these are the this is the expression for Kc. Okay, now let us find the value of Kc. Okay, so concentration of C, concentration of C will be number of moles of C divided by the volume. We have number of moles of C as we have number of moles of C as one mole, and we have volume as Two liter. We have volume of flask as two liter, so concentration of C will be one by two to the power two because we have a concentration of C square. So concentration of C will be one by two because we have moles of C as one and we have volume as two liter. So it will be one by two to the power two divided by concentration of A. So it will be moles of A, moles of A divided by the volume, moles of A divided by the volume, and we have moles of A as two point five, moles of A as two point five. So it will be 2.5 divided by volume. Volume of the flask is 2 liter, so it will be 2.5 by 2 into. It will be concentration of B to the B to the power 2, and we have concentration of B will be number of moles of B divided by the volume, and we have number of moles of B is 4, so it will be 4 divided by volume. Volume is 2 liter to the power 2 because we have square of concentration of B. So after solving this basic mathematical expression, we can easily find the Kc value. Okay, so it will be. One by four divided by two point five by two into sixteen divided by four. Okay, if we do this square, we will get sixteen divided by four. Okay, guys. So this will be four times. Okay, and this will be two times. Okay, so it will be one divided by two into two point five. Into four. Okay, it will be like this. I hope you guys are understanding it. So it will be one by twenty. It will be one by twenty. Okay. So when we solve it, we will get it will be one by twenty. So when we solve it, we will get we will get one by twenty is zero point zero five. This is the value of Kc. This is the value of Kc. I hope you guys are understanding it. So thank you guys. This is it for this question. So our correct option for this question will be option four. Thank you. For class six to twelve, ITG and NEET level, trusted by more than five crore students. Download Doubt and App today.